In this lesson, we'll be talking about ecosystems and biomes. When we talk about ecosystems, we're talking about communities of living organisms that are interacting with their environment. And basically, organisms are just another word for living things. All of the living things in an ecosystem, those are the organisms, and the environment is made up of more of the non-living things and the other things that are around the organism. We also have another word for these things, and that's biotic and abiotic factors. When we talk about biotic factors in an ecosystem, that's the living things, bio meaning life, and abiotic meaning things that are not alive. These biotic factors in an ecosystem include plants, animals, and microorganisms or microbes, which are the small, single-celled organisms that live in an ecosystem. The abiotic factors in an ecosystem can include things like air, water, soil, rocks, sunlight, and weather. And these abiotic factors have significant impact on the organisms that live in the ecosystem, as well as the characteristics of the ecosystem. Ecosystems don't have to be a certain size. You could have a large ecosystem, but it could also be as small as a cup of pond water that has its own microorganisms, tiny plants, tiny animals living in it, its own biotic and abiotic factors. On the other hand, when we talk about a biome, we're talking about major regions of the world, global communities that are characterized by the biotic and abiotic factors that they have. Things like deserts. They're found all over the world, but they have characteristics in common. Rainforests, grasslands, some of these other major biomes that are made up of smaller ecosystems with their own unique characteristics. In this unit, we'll be talking about seven major biomes that all of the world's ecosystems can be classified under. These include the Arctic tundra biome, which is Earth's coldest biome, the coniferous forest biome, which is made up of evergreen trees, coniferous trees. They have needles instead of leaves, and they stay green all year round. The grasslands biome, which are the prairies, the savannas, with a lot of the larger animals that we think about, like zebras, giraffes, elephants in the African grasslands, bison, prairie dogs, things like that in the North American grasslands. The deciduous forest biome, which are, we call them seasonal forests. They experience all four seasons. The leaves fall off the trees in the, the wintertime and regrow in the spring. The desert biome, which is Earth's driest biome. A lot of people think of deserts as being sandy and hot, but that's not always the case, as we'll discuss later. The tropical rainforest, these are your jungles found near the equator. They receive a great deal of rainfall and have very diverse plants and animals. And last is the aquatic biome, which basically makes up the lakes, rivers, oceans of our planet. Over the course of this unit, we'll be looking in a lot more detail at each of these different biomes, as well as different ecosystems that can be found within them, the different types of plants, animals, as well as abiotic factors that they contain.